we didn't have to do much to get attention here in New Orleans. All it took was walking into the police station on Wednesday, and I guess that prompted a memo being sent out by the Fraternal Order of Police here, and also a news story by Fox 8, one of the local affiliates. After learning about the media article, we contacted the author, Mr. Scott Satchfield. Both myself and Adam will question him on how he learned of the FOP's memo, and Mr. Satchfield pointed out that it had been tweeted by the FOPNO, the Fraternal Order Police New Orleans Lodge. The memo ends with, Members should be aware that this group is known to attempt to provoke officers into overreaction for the purpose of capturing that overreaction on videotape. The fact that they needed to say that, I believe, says that they are expecting that some of their officers may overreact to people with video cameras. The title of the memo says, Be Aware of Cop Block Group, but maybe it could be titled, Be Aware of Your Own Actions. They could be documented and uh, don't do anything that you might get in trouble for. And it means that they didn't do too much research on myself or yourself either, because if they did research on myself, they would have learned that I upload everything I shoot. They can go to Freeman TV Raw and see all of that footage. And uh, because it's about openness on our side and accountability, it's not about trimming it down and framing it to make the officers look bad or look a certain way. It says at the end of this article that New Orleans Police is set to outfit all of its officers with their own body cameras in the coming months. So I'd be interested to see how the progress of that goes and whether or not all of that video footage will be available or whether or not it will be mysteriously lost the first time there's an incident where uh, the officer and the person being dealt with have a conflict of uh, opinion and perspective of how things went down. Yeah, but even better than uh, hoping that NOPD employees wear body cameras is for each of us to film police interactions. If you have a smartphone, go to coplock.org slash apps and download a, a streaming app to safeguard yourself and others because we know that content will be available. We know that content won't be deleted when a police employee acts, uh, you know, aggressively and you know, the solutions aren't going to be coming from the uh, a chief of police or some uh, consent decree or some top-down method, but from each of us looking out for each other. Yeah, there shouldn't be an expectation that just if we're around, people are going to be videotaping the police. The technology is always getting less expensive, more obtainable for more people. So they need to be expecting that people could be videotaping at any time. Additionally, there is the safety here of there not being an eavesdropping or a wiretapping law because those such laws can uh, really be used to just attack people just for the act of recording. Use both open video cameras, as they know, this group acts by overtly and covertly videotaping law enforcement officers. Include audio. Uh, have audio running, have video running, have multiple audio and video tracks running, and that way your evidence is way more likely to survive if there is any incident. In the Fox 8 article that cites this guy Raymond Burkhardt, he, he uh, his quote, uh, a few sentences long, uses the word safety twice and privacy issues or concerns twice that our documentation, could, it says, could be seized as evidence, you know, and seized is just a nice way of saying stolen. And in the memo itself, you know, it says seize the video recordings or quarantine them uh, if they contain evidence of a crime. And to me, stealing someone's property is a crime. So to say that a group of people have the right to take someone else's property because they document their actions out in public is ridiculous. It would appear that they're trying to put a chilling effect on ourselves or other people from filming with, oh, if you're filming something that might be a crime, we might have to seize that. So I hope that that discourages nobody from filming, that you film everything that you can in as many safe ways as possible, which means ways that can't be stolen, such as by using live streams.